بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الطلبة الأعزاء السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وأهلا ومرحبا بكم في هذا الجزء الحادي عشر من المحور الثاني لمادة نظرية الآلات Theory of Machines We will take an example here for bulldozer So here we have a mechanism and here also we have another mechanism Let's take the example to calculate degree of freedoms or mobility. The formula is 3L minus 1 minus 2GA1 minus 2J2. So number of links here, L is equal 12. The first one is considered as the ground. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 links, 12 solids. Number of 1 degree of freedom joints, lower pair joints, J1 is equal 12 pins. First one is second one, second pin, third one, fourth one here. Number 5 should be here, number 6 should be here. 7 is here 8 9 10 11 between uh, solid 11 and 9 and between 10 and 9 we have another one so here 11 and 12 so 12 rotational joints and we have three th sliders Slider number one, make translation. Slider number two, also it makes translation. And the slider number three. Okay, the total is 15 lower pair joints. And we haven't here higher pair joints, two degree of freedom joints. Okay, now we have to calculate the mobility or degree of freedom. Here, 3 multiplied by 12 minus 1 minus 2 into 15 is equal 3. So 3 degree of freedom here for this mechanism. So 3 hydraulics, I mean piston, are used to control the position of the bucket. Let's take another example, this mechanism. Number, total number of links is seven, include the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven solids we have here. Number of lower pair joints, J1, we have six pins for rotation. First one, two, three, four, five and six and we have one slider here okay now how many higher pair joints two degree of freedom joints j2 we have one higher pair joints the fork joint here it has two degree of freedom rotation and a translation both are independent so degrees of freedom here is equal 3 so we need three input source are needed to control this mechanism